This was Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the Intel NUC 10, which you might guess number one is a tiny compact PC and is an Intel 10th generation processor inside. We reviewed several NUCs, and this is the latest generation. This one has a 25 watt Intel Core i7 CPU inside with six cores, as Intel common like. So it's pretty powerful. It's about as powerful as the last generation Dell XPS 13 higher end model. Starts around $600 bare bones, which means you get the, the, the case, the fan, the processor, all that sort of thing, but you put in your own RAM, M2 SSD, and hard drive, or you can buy it pre-made with Windows 10 pre-installed. So we have that variant, which has a 256 gig SSD and a one terabyte hard drive inside and 16 gigs of DDR4 2666 megahertz RAM. So the bare bones is around 600. This one's about 950. So by getting this little guy, which is about the same size as a four week old kitten, you're not necessarily saving a lot of money versus getting a laptop. So why would you do it? Well, obviously this thing fits anywhere, really. It's just insane. You've got a pretty powerful 25 watt CPU that you don't see all that often in Ultrabooks these days. Also, you've got a lot of ports on here. And these days, you know how it is with compact laptops, hardly any ports. And there's the expandability. You've got two RAM slots. You have a socketed M.2 slot for the SSD and a two and a half inch drive bay. Pretty good stuff. We even have a UHS-2 full-size SD card slot, so that's a fast SD card slot. The drawback, obviously, is you have to supply your own monitor, keyboard, and mouse. We're going to look at it now. So despite the compact size, cooling is actually pretty good on this, especially considering you've got a 25 watt CPU inside. Intel UHD graphics, not Iris Plus, because this is Comet Lake, but you've got a six core i7 CPU in here. And it's the coolest running of the Intel NUX that I've tested yet. And that's because Intel is getting better at power efficiency and also tweaking the cooling design of one of these things. So it's actually cooler running, even doing more demanding benchmarks than similarly equipped laptop would be. In terms of connectivity, and this is where it gets really exciting, you have USB-A ports and that's Gen 3.2, so that's 10 gigabit per second. You have a Thunderbolt 3 port, and that's the new Titan Ridge controller, full 40 gigabit per second. Yes, you could put an eGPU on this if you want. You've also got a USB-C 10 gigabit per second port on board. You have Intel Wi-Fi 6, you have an HDMI 2.0 port, so in theory, you can do three 4K monitors at 60 hertz with this little guy. Day traders, wow, you're gonna have a field day with that one, aren't you? Again, there's two RAM slots inside, so 64 gigs would be the max RAM you can put inside. You can either buy it like that or do it yourself after the fact. These are sort of do-it-yourself oriented products. That M.2 slot is NVMe, the faster kind of SSD. Ours came with a Kingston X2, so it's not the fastest you can possibly buy. Again, you can buy it configured the way you want, or you can put your own in there. And there's a two and a half inch drive bay. We have a one terabyte Seagate hard drive in there, you can get it with a two terabyte, you get the idea. The, the big storage is nice if you do intend to use this for say a f photo editing and storage, media server, that sort of thing. Hook it up to your TV, knock yourself out, playing home videos, you know, you get the idea. It's easy to get inside. You can either pop the top open, but mostly you're going to be unscrewing the bottom feet or use a Phillips head screw to unscrew the screw if they're on really tight. And then you can get into all those expandable parts. Comes with a 120 watt power supply, which is certainly more than enough to keep this thing powered up with lots of internals upgraded on this, so no problems there. So again, you're looking at higher end ultrabook performance here, the 25 watt class CPU. So it's pretty good stuff here. If you have really demanding needs, let's say pushing into the mobile workstation or gaming laptop, Area. We're actually going to look at the Intel NUC 9 Pro, which has Intel H series CPU. The one we're going to look at has a Xeon. Not as teeny as this. That's just not possible in terms of cooling and all that. But that one even has a slot for a graphics card. So that's the Intel NUC 10. And again, if you're looking for a super compact PC that you can put just about anywhere and is up to the task of even doing things like Photoshop, a little light video editing, 1080p for sure, uh, 4K, I'd like to have something more powerful if I could, but you could do it. Media server, you get the idea. This does the job well, and the cooling is pretty good. The performance is quite good. Yeah, I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool tech videos and thumbs up if you like this vid.